Hello, it's Emma Trader here. Welcome to another one of my session recaps. Session 81, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. Here, if 1,000 is not enough, you simply increase your position size. That is, add more contracts, but at the same time, still following our money management rules. Now, what I teach you in these sessions straight is you can use for both the, uh, well, I shouldn't say both, there's three things there, the futures, forex, and stock markets. Now, I do need to get up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. You can always pause the recording if you wish to read the disclaimer. Uh, very quick advertisement. If you haven't already downloaded my free ebook, The Truth About Day Trading, please click on the description link below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as I release new videos every week. Uh, and even better, still come and become a member. That is, I've got uh, thousands of members now. I run both a live trading room and a coaching room. I run a live trading room three uh, mornings a week and the coaching room uh, two evenings a week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Eastern Standard Time. For $197, everything I show you here is included, included including um, hundreds of hours of online videos uh, there's um, over 38 PowerPoints now there's free indicators there's nothing else for you to really have to buy all for one ninety seven dollars plus you can attend eight live recorded sessions that is you can attend live and recorded sessions once again traders as I say in all of my videos these are raw real and unedited I'm not running to a script here <laughs> um, so you can attend eight two-hour sessions at absolutely uh, no cost included as a bonus in the 197 uh, it's literally priceless as you'll see what I'm about to show you today uh, so all of that 197 after month one if you decide gee this is fantastic uh, you can then drop me an email for $97 a month you can continue okay let's, let's move right on first of all I just want to say this um, uh, you know this is a game changer for 98% of a population that is if you could earn a thousand dollars a day 5,000 a week changes lives this is truly achievable but this is also where most day traders get it wrong that is they read a book or they watch a YouTube video or see some sort of a, a, advertisement and they think they think they can go out there and start earning a thousand two thousand dollars per contract that's not the reality get rich slowly how you seriously get wealthy in this business is the number of contracts and realistic earnings low risk high probability setups now I'm going to show you today how to do that we're going to be going to the charts and I'm actually going to be talking about fractals and um, market timing so stick around we'll probably go for 45 minutes I always try to make these sessions shorter but I want to give you massive value I want to show you how to really do this so rather than having this massive target of 500 to a thousand dollars a day and then you end up giving up because you your, your risk management's wrong or you're just not achieving that what if you were to target just $100 a day per contract I'm going to show you what that means in a moment and as you gain experience uh, you can step that up now you'll also step that up with the time frame that you're trading okay so if you'll say trading a much higher time frame during the New York hours then you might be going for your $500 plus per contract but start trading either early morning or of an evening so you can trade a lower time frame and when the market's slower but perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself but here's what this really means number one uh, this is in my live trading room I've got uh, a number of traders that are hitting $100 per day consistently uh, one member in, a, in the room last night my time <laughs> for the morning most uh, traders so I'm down under in Australia at the moment is he's he's increasing the $100 per contract now uh, per day now this is what it means because when you have a realistic target 
of $100 a day when you're trading with $4,000 uh, what it does it increases both your confidence and competence now worst case scenario on just $100 a day within 24 weeks less than six months you're earning 5,000 a week within 30 weeks potentially you're up to your $10,000 a week and your capitals close to $100,000 this is a reality of day trading if you do it correctly and as you're going to see um, uh, this is not rocket science now what I do want to quickly cover is to speak to you very briefly about fractals now it's really a simple concept so I'm going to go through it fairly quickly here so if you're new to trading don't worry about fractals at the moment but the reason I'm bringing this up I have uh, a lot of very experienced traders in my rooms but also a lot of experienced traders watching um, these sessions so most of you are aware or most traders are aware there's fractals in trading that is you get these high points in fact if you were to hold your hand out in front of you your middle finger is is a fractal okay and you've got lower fingers and a thumb on either side then you've got slightly um, unorthodox uh, fractals but basically um, this is what a fractal is as far as a formation when you trade now we also have fractals then in nature and so if you look at a fractal snowflakes and so what you actually see is patterns repeating over and over again on many different scales now you may be thinking or wondering well Ray what's this got to do with trading please stay with me for a moment and over here we've got here what happens in the financial markets so as the time frame gets larger uh, either on a time based chart or over the same time frame you'll notice here we get the same sort of formations this uh, pretty much says it all now simply put fractals are self -sim similar patterns that repeat themselves if you look at the fractal below notice the shape of each individual petal is the same shape as each leaf which in turn is the same shape of the entire limb that's a fractal how that then ties in with trading is this you will see I usually trade a four or six tick chart uh, if you trade tick charts I'll trade a lower time frame because I'm I like trading what we call the Globex market so the markets open 23 hours a day Forex is 24 hours a day and I like the slower market I don't the, the New York market is just too fast for me really is I prefer a slower market now I quite often have traders say well look that pattern works on the four tick and the six tick it's not going to work on the 12 tick or during New York the New York session well that's just not true you see each pattern that appears on a four tick will appear on a higher time frame just in a larger pattern but the patterns exactly the same so where I'm going with this is it doesn't matter which time frame you trade or which market you trade these strategies work because they're what we call fractal in nature what's also important for you is that these patterns are patterns so rather than something it's based on mathematics you'll see here these are patterns that we see in the market okay I just wanted to mention that particularly for those that think oh, it won't work on a higher time frame uh, it's just not true okay these patterns work on all time frames and all markets because they're what we call fractals in markets now as it says here fractal geometry has been applied to financial markets um, you'll see whether you're looking at a daily chart or an hourly or a five minute self similar patterns repeat themselves over and over in the financial market in fact Bill Williams who passed away a few years ago now uh, in new trading dimensions and in trading chaos uh, spends a lot of time talking about 
fractals so this is important because we're looking for patterns patterns are easy to learn Okay. and you can apply you can apply to fractal trend lines is uh, I could spend <laughs> hours talking about fractals but let's get to the charts in a moment okay now in today's session uh, you're going to see seven trades I took for five wins and two losses and this was in 22 minutes of day trading the NQ and once again doesn't matter where you, whether you trade gold silver the Texas T that is oil the ES the Dow Forex it does not matter which time frame you trade as long as you've got a market with some volume and volatility so I'm going to explain these setups when we get to the charts because I will show you exactly what I'm looking for now as we get into this one thing I do have to very quickly cover and I know for many of you you see this um, every session but it's important because even if you've got 4,000, 6,000, 10,000, to start on a micro and to make all the mistakes you're going to make on a small account, it's it's really just the just the way to go in mastering out of day trading because you're building both experience and competence, as I mentioned earlier. But what if you don't have $4,000 as I pointed out uh, that you'd need like in this particular case what if you've only got four or five hundred dollars you start on the micro contract within 12 weeks earning only $20 a day and you'll see that you see the big contract is um, uh, 10 times the size of that so a micro is 10% of the value of the big contract so where we're after two hundred dollars a day so typically I trade five lots my targets a thousand dollars plus per day okay so here if you were trading five lots on the micro your target would be one hundred dollars a day or twenty dollars a contract now as soon as you build your account up to around four thousand then you roll over and you can start trading the big contract now here so based upon twenty dollars a day potentially in 20 weeks your account size is now four six now you start trading a big contract and as you'll see uh, when I trade micros in front of the members time and time again we just you know it's it's look it's not rocket science but it's not get rich quick either okay now once you then build that account up based upon earning $200 a day and I'm going to show you today how we do that in 12 weeks you're up to your ten thousand dollars per week uh, and I'm going to say potentially because there's going to be people will not hold it to me literally yet they won't be accountable and they won't follow the rules once again this is to set set rules we want to follow which is straightforward but you know trading truly is 90% psychology it's about removing the greed the impatience etc but the bottom line here is within 12 weeks this is where you can truly be successfully day trading now you might go for one hundred dollars a day as I mentioned but you trade 10 um, 10 contracts that's five thousand a week this is ten thousand a week when you're trading 10 contracts if you go for 200 a day this is the reality that the challenge is traders don't want to do the hard yards that is spend the time that's required in learning the patterns and as you're about to see uh, it's it's straightforward it just takes screen time and that's the whole purpose of my live trading room and particularly the coaching sessions where we have a couple of hundred traders log in and they're watching as I explain and teach them everything from the psychology of trading through to money management and the patterns now you might say oh, this is one big advertisement but you know what do you want to make money or not <laughs> I know this sounds arrogant but you know at the, traders if you know it's, if you want to learn to how to fly an aircraft um, you've got to have some instruction anyway I'm getting beside myself I'm getting all <laughs> All right let's get to this all right um, yeah so down here look if we then step up to um, 300 a day by the way if you're really serious about the time you're going to put into it within eight weeks you're on your 12,000 a week within eight weeks okay now how do we do that I just want to show you this here if you go for 
$200 a day per car that's per contract number one our maximum risk we ever risk is $80 right that's the maximum sometimes our stops um, down to about 12 ticks um, and I should point out a tick is worth five dollars in this business so if you want you want to average two hundred dollars a day you basically want four six step trades a day and I'll show you what that is in a moment now let's just step this up to 250 a day I want five six step trades a day but look where I am within nine weeks my ten thousand dollars a week thank you very much and here if we go for 300 a day look where I am within eight weeks now what it comes down to then is five seven step trades a day or six six step trades a day now what you'll see is as we go to the charts in a moment I trade a number of different patterns and setups but what's important initially is you focus like a laser beam on trading with the trend but you'll see some of those when we go to our charts uh, in a moment okay back onto this so what we want to do here is um, uh, just before we go to the chart says a couple of key considerations that we need to take in account and these are absolutely critical and the beautiful part about it is um, you've got indicators now on just about every trading platform will plot these automatically or you'll be able to identify these visually and easily so after an hour or two of coaching you understand what all of these are but you're about to see the power of these maybe not all of them but some of these for an example where are your pivot levels your prior days open high low and close your major EMAs particularly the 200 and you'll see what I mean about that in a moment the intraday swing highs and lows that is as you trade during the day you'll get swings those swings become price magnets and support resistance levels and also the current days the highest the, the, uh, the market's been that day and the lowest so let's get to the charts and let me show you directly on the charts exactly what I mean now I'm recording this by the way on the 20th of uh, February uh, but this is from the 13th of February and so I've actually got about six what have I got five uh, five more sessions to catch up on to record that I haven't recorded yet now first of all what are we looking at here this is actually at 1 a.m. Central Standard Time it doesn't matter which time frame you trade you get the same pattern you could go right back look at it look this is too good when I say too good I could show you this and and point out all the beautiful trends and the best but look yep they'll <laughs> they're fantastic but you don't get that all the time you'll get it some of those beautiful trends every day but this is a reality we've got to learn to trade is when we start to go sideways so this is where the lessons start to come in what is that just there that is a 200 EMA on what we call the entry chart so this is the entry chart I trade with three different time frames an entry chart an anchor chart one a higher time frame and an anchor chart two for two higher time frames I'm just looking at what's the higher time frame the trend direction of the higher time frames now as price comes back here you can see the white paint bar that's called my super scalper that forms particularly on the NQ as a market a very very important part of our trading and identifying potential entry points now as we pull back to to this point here we've got a little bit of divergence on the anchor chart to uh, one we definitely have divergence we have a trade there not there but we've got a trade just here now remember I spoke about six six step trades a day um, will net you 300 a day well each one of these I call steps and the value of each step will depend on your time frame you're trading so this is a four tick Renko and what it means is that 
from the height of a low of each one of these candles Rinko actually stands for bricks I call them candles is four ticks or twenty dollars but every step is worth ten dollars so what we want is six by six steps and as you'll see many of these you'll get eight to ten steps one two three so if you got in here one two three four five six seven eight nine that's it's a ninety dollar move okay now there I would have been out with only $70 that's usually my target now as we pull back we have one more potential entry one two three four five six and we start to retrace now as we pull back one of the golden rules traders is that we don't want to be trading when we see um, well there are a couple of exceptions but when we start to see our major EMAs flatten out and we st these are called EMAs we don't want to be trading I'm not going to call this one why look how flat we are becoming when we go into an area of this like this this is called congestion or a consolidation zone we want to see really a new higher high put in place followed by a new high low to say let's go along or we want to break to the short side and get a new lower lowing very straightforward once you understand the concept because the footprints to a trend are higher highs and high lows or lower lows and lower highs now going along here and look at this here see we're just chopping now this is what I mean now good okay new higher high now I can't remember what happens here but we'd be looking for a bounce potentially here for going long and there it was just there okay one two three four five six you'll see those every and you may notice I'm not taking the entry until above the third candle here okay so now I'm rolling over now I should just point out um, when I enter a trade my break even that is break even means you go to your entry price so my stop loss would be down here and my break even is where I entered the trade that's what I mean if I say go to break even and what I then do is add three ticks or $15 to the trade and say right I got in here and I want to lock three ticks in why because it covers any commission costs and a wee bit of profit right so down I come and the only reason I took that one and well I didn't actually physically take that one but I would have considered that is that high high in fact that pulled back now I'm uh, talking the trading doesn't go well together because really that pullback to take the trade should have been here you want to see a higher high with a higher low let's see what happened aha uh -huh. so now I'm making a new lower low just here and here is the first major major lesson traders right here see that bounce just there do you know what we're bouncing on right there that black line I discovered over the years I've been day trading now for 28 years that an interesting formula that that 200 EMA this is the 200 from my next time frame up and so I've got an interesting formula that I use for tick charts time based charts Renko range charts which will basically allow me to project and know when I've got bounces on other time frames because we get this all the time and we actually call this the T12 and so if we go and look at the anchor chart one right now oops so let me just minimize that and see if we can find it yep there it is. look over here on the anchor chart one you're bouncing off the 200 so one two three four five six seven eight thank you very much you'd actually by the way be you would want to cover your trade we'll get out just here why we've now got a new lower low and a new lower high just here and do you know what we've got right here another potential short 
now as we then come down okay and this is where I was actually started live trading here I then had my first trade of the day just here now in fact I didn't actually bounce on the anchor chart uh, 1 200 but down here I'm bouncing on the anchor chart 2 so can you see it's really very simple once you understand the power of these EMAs um, when you come down on a higher time frame get ready for a bounce okay like particularly the first test and even on this second one see how we had a little bounce there and so after a period of time all of this is just rules based trading now you still need to understand what a trend is um, uh, but that's what this is this is bouncing on a higher time frame in fact it then formed into a nearly a new nearly a little double bottom here so up we went and so that would have been and for members watching this we had a t10 just there as you can see so as we come up I decided to go for a larger target and the reason I decided to go for a larger target here was because of the bounce on the higher time frame that usually means a larger move I then jumped in on this one and I was in a little late and I'll tell you why this is just before the Frankfurt open and the market really picks up okay so I then had this trade there thank you very much and this is where then I look at exiting the trade so you got a little bounce here so I went for a larger target and I got out just above now once again traders uh, I'm quite happy to leave some on the table for the other guy okay um, uh, I've usually uh, as a scalper a scal scalping has many definitions but as a scalper I'm going for fixed targets in and out in and out without being ridiculous the amount of trades but I want to get the cash register ringing okay and so some traders will be happy to trail now this is very difficult to trial this is at 2 a.m. when uh, central when we then get the open and uh, the market for about two minutes can go very very fast so you can see there I could have doubled my returns there but I like to go for fixed targets now for members watching this was a t3 but it was too fast and even as I pull back down here I should not have taken this trade okay so I took a 3b here and it was a loss immediately and I said mm. and even this one here I had a t10 on the anchor chart one just there but I really just shouldn't have been um, uh, and I wouldn't have been able to get into that I should not have taken that trade why because the market was moving too fast that's why okay so uh, there that was a loss so now I'm pulling back pulling back pulling back and same again I've got a t12 on the anchor chart too you can't see it there but if we were to look at the anchor chart too you would see there that I'm bouncing off for 200 EMA just an incredibly um, easy pattern based incredibly easy pattern based strategy and you can even see there I also had some divergence on the entry chart so thank you very much I'm in that trade okay up we go thank you very much now this is when I then four minutes later I then took this trade as what I call a strength trade and I made an, another error okay and so for members watching I didn't have a short-term stochastic hook okay so I took I, I had no business in taking that trade okay um, had a brain fart <laughs> excuse my language there I just shouldn't have taken it and for new viewers to my channel um, if I make a mistake when I trade I tell members about it because it's the best way one of the best ways for you to learn is to know what not to do and where the error was so you understand exactly what it is instead of me looking so saying oh look how good and clever I am I make mistakes I should not have been in that one nor that one anyway the great thing is we can recover my next trade was a nice winner straight away and what I had there was a beautiful 2b straight after uh, trend following 2b higher high 
a little higher low got stopped out of that one jumped straight into that one thank you very much and by the way look at this here another one two three four another ten steps or one hundred dollars I could have squeezed out of that move what I decided to then take was a t3 and this is the seventh trade there now a t3 is uh, what I call a reversion to the main trade you had one there but it was too fast we had one here we see these every day it's just a very simple mechanical trade uh, there's a couple of rules to it if it meets the conditions uh, uh, I want to take the trade very straightforward and I even had some divergence and quite often with a t3 you don't have divergence and that's mighty fine okay took that one down to the 34 and I'm out I covered that trade thank you very much so that was um, uh, all over in 20 was that 22 minutes I think it was 22 minutes and I'd all uh, that was totally it. I was wrapped up for the day now um, I trade for lifestyle and income someone say well look if you went and trade a lot more um, you know put in two or three hours you could earn a lot more yes I'm in my 60s uh, the money I don't need so this is a great income okay uh, and I'm busy I run I've got my coaching members I run the rooms you know it keeps me flat out so I'm quite happy to get in get out get paid but let's just go on another couple of minutes what happened after this okay so I, I've finished my trading and I do this um, every day and once I finish that's it the sooner the better usually by the way I'm wrapped up within 10 to, to 30 minutes this time of day I've finished okay so for the average trader I'd say you'd need to put in to achieve these sorts of results just say one to two hours a day what you don't see is I'm checking out the charts beforehand you've got to check the news and a few other things okay so just over here for new for uh, for current members there um, that actually was a t10 it wasn't totally tidy but uh, that is a t10 short uh, just there okay so down we come okay now here we're going to get a bit of a bump almost now we're straight through that down we come down we come okay still coming down notice my long-term stochastic is oversold uh, this is what we call a fanning of the EMAs now see that uh, black dot there and that white one sorry arrow I should say and over here uh, that's called the t20 it's just um, a very accurate way of identifying potential reversals it works an absolute treat <clears throat> excuse me uh, and once again science based on why it turns there so down we come now I'm gaining a lot of divergence by the way so for divergence traders uh, what we'd be doing and why don't we even look at the anchor chart uh, one and look at that there okay now for new members you or for new traders you may not realize but that's what we call divergence okay now this is called a zero lag MACD uh, I've got a coded for trade station ninja trader if you've got any other trading platform where I don't have it coded for I give you the settings so you can set the exact same indicator up on a standard MACD it's just got special settings you need to set up but that is what we call divergence and it's called a two whoops where were we just there back to this gee whiz I jumped ahead a fair bit there I think where were we way back here where is that um, is that here where'd I go uh, wait a sec what have I done oh, I've jumped ahead, ahead another day I think <laughs> so I think I've jumped ahead I have two oh target I have two so I've jumped ahead another uh, time frame <laughs> so um, and what you can see there is um, a trade there another winning trade there another winning trade there I don't know if you saw back there but there was some a couple of winning trades so even though I've jumped ahead traders you can see that um, I'm consistent with my with my trades let me get find where we were just a, a moment let me go back to this for a sec 
okay I think I jumped ahead a day all right so I haven't done a recap and I probably won't worry about it recap on those other trades that was from uh, another day you may have noticed the time frame was around the same time so I trade pretty consistently but it doesn't matter which time of day you trade whether it be the open of a globex session which is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or this time but anyway here we've got double divergence when I've got double divergence we target um, up here uh, at the confluence of our EMAs and up we go okay uh, and for members watching there's another t10 but just remember when you're very close to your EMAs we're generally waiting for a bounce here is our first uh, uh, with trend trade after that by the way so after all of those here is your first trend trade now you you had one there that was a 2BD so new me potential members that's what we call a 2BD straight after major divergence want to be very careful and this is called a two-legged pullback by the way one leg two leg but here's our entry now when just uh, stomach here it's the, oh, look I've got another five ten minutes and I'll just show you a couple of things here so whenever we take a trade entry remember earlier I said we want to take notice of where our major EMAs are where our intraday swing see that swing just there let's see what happens now that then forms uh, a double top of t7 as we're coming down coming down uh, here you would have been out of that one you've now got another re-entry and I'm just looking at this swing here and so down and down and now we've hit that swing so you could have actually stayed in that one now that one there we call that a bit the farm a bit the farm trade little double top with divergence and look over at your anchor chart you're bouncing off the 89 EMA all right so down we come thank you very much now we're now retracing I've got no divergence here and is that a t3 one two uh, it is too so for members watching there is an, and even for you watching that's what we call a t3 okay so if we had have taken that one thank you very much now as we're retracing here pulling back pulling back what can you see up above traders you can see the 200 EMA that black line which is that over here on your anchor chart one and you can see there the purple line that's the 200 on the entry chart I want you to also note we've got a nice downtrend oh and for members watching there is another t10 now it's come up and beautiful okay just a, yeah, just another classic this is actually a 3b now look at this swing below now rarely do we come down we usually stair step down but let's see what happened and look at that another good 15 20 step uh, and look at that there see how we bounced off that level this happens every these are just patterns now one of the things there that we didn't get to see really well in this particular one uh, video is what we call um, the open high low and close level see that red line that's what we call a pivot that was yesterday's close that was yesterday's low as the day goes on we usually go down and test those levels look at that we missed it there and bang remember on that PowerPoint traders and let's just go back to it I said you want to know where your pivots are your open high low and close levels your major EMAs your intraday swings and the days high and low because this is what happens we bounce off these levels now oh we missed it by bounce that is correct we miss that one by about six ticks that usually means you're going to come back down and retest it and you had a little bit the farm there again and there we've got the bounce now we've now gone through where's our next level down here be watching watch 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 are we going to get a bounce oh look at that magic no magic traders we get this every day in fact we have a trade setup which is about 90 percent accurate we call the t28 where we sell into major areas of support and resistance now what's below us here ah yesterday's low let's just come down and 
we bounced around that and then we got through it and continue now once again uh, we're not always going to bounce off those levels but they become predictive they're what we call predictive indicators because so many traders uh, trade those levels so traders I've covered a, a great deal in this session um, as I mentioned this is not rocket science it's a matter of learning really the, the core things on your hand where are your major support resistance levels what constitutes a trend yes you've got to learn how to place your orders and, and things like that but it's not rocket science it takes some discipline some patience and some screen time I want to teach you how to do it so for $197 you can get my instruction and get 16 hours of live trading if you can't attend the live sessions they are recorded uh, plus dozens of, of recaps okay there's a ton of recorded live sessions there's all my indicators um, and from there you might want to end up joining my live trading room but the first step is in the coaching room is to learn the setups so remember uh, you can join in the link below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to request uh, one of my ebooks and uh, come and join me traders let me teach you how to day trade as always traders I love day trading thank you see you on the next video